Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. On the 20th of February 2022, during the live Sunday broadcast, Apostle Daniel Okafu was led by the Spirit of God to give words of prophecy. Let's watch this prophecy concerning the nation Nigeria. And the country Nigeria, I'm seeing explosion, fire. I'm not asking which state, which state, they now have not received answer. I pray God should have had it. So you two, watch him anywhere. Join me in prayer for that. On the 25th of April 2022, over 100 people died due to explosion in Nigeria. This to confirm the words of prophecy from Apostle Daniel Okafo. We begin from Imo State where the people of uh, Abaizi community are yet to recover from Friday's explosion caused by a spark from the activities of an illegal oil refinery that claimed over 100 lives, especially youths. The, the blaming the tragic incident on the government's inability to create an enabling environment for the employment of young people. We would like to warn that some images in this report may be found disturbing. Viewers' discretion is advised. Prince Uba has this report. Oh. It was a gory sight to behold, as some people are yet to hold back their tears, seeing littered corpses, burnt beyond recognition. A day after the tragic incident at Abezi Forest, corpses are yet to be evacuated. It was a sober moment for the residents of the area, for losing over 100 youths in a day. For them, some youths ventured into the illegal oil refining business as a result of government failure to create an enabling environment for business to thrive. I don't think that any youth of our own age who is looking for a better life will resort to just choose to be engaged in this kind of uh, activities. But unemployment rate is too high in this local government. We are just neglected and abandoned. The companies around here are not taking their responsibilities in terms of what is the benefit accrued to the host communities. Myself as a person, um, I'm not happy with the incident. I mean, uh, I'm not saying our leaders are happy with what the youth are doing. Talking about the illegal bunker and all that. I, I, myself, I can't be happy engaging myself in such a... But when you look at things, I feel they are frustrated. Illegal oil bunkering activities in the recent times have been on the increase as Nigeria loses over 200,000 barrels per day to oil thieves. For Nigeria Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, it will come up with a comprehensive report to foster future recurrence. NEMA, as part of a federal government agency, is on ground to see things as it has happened and probably come up with a, a recommendation that will assist both the federal and the state government, not just bringing relief materials to cushion the effect of what has happened, but a lasting solution on these uh, illegal businesses. Because if the youth have an enabling environment uh, for them to strive and do a meaningful business, they wouldn't have been engaged in this, uh, in this ugly uh, incident. Over 100 corpses are lying here, burnt beyond recognition. Effort should be made by government to evacuate these corpses to avoid health challenges it may pose in the near future. Prince Oba. We from the Jotem family are sending our deepest condolences to the family of the affected ones. God gives and he also takes. Like and follow us on Facebook at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Jesus on the Throne International Ministry. Tweet us on Twitter at jotim1 at gmail.com, TikTok at jotim1 at gmail.com, Instagram at jotim underscore one.